All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, shallow warm salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth, and sincerity and wholeheartedly, shallow warm to the Aqua, which is the women believers, shallow warm to you. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And I just want to talk about the wisdom of the world. The wisdom of of the world bring up death and as you see that's the most that happened in this world is death every time you turn on the news death you hear about death you hear about uh, dis uh, disastrous weather you know all, all of this is the judgment of the Lord because the wisdom of the world the wisdom of the, of the world is to go against the Lord's way. So the reason that life is the way that it is. Is because the wisdom of the world is against the Lord's way. But you have people. Who actually are prosperous being wicked, but the scripture said that would be the case. It said, behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. So, yes, if you want to have your heart desires, what the scripture says that your heart is wicked. If you want to have your heart desires, then go ahead and do some wickedness. And then this is how discombobulated the world is, though, because if you would to be ungodly you could actually still go to prison for that get your freedom taken away so it, it, it's a certain type of wickedness that you have to succumb to to, uh, to to increase in riches and that's if you are in the uh, fraternity that's what I call it the brotherhood you know Hollywood and all of that you know you usually get up in there by nepotism most of the celebrities that we know, their family was in the, in the industry or they know somebody that knows somebody. You know, it's a lot of us who have talent and can sing, dance and act and do that, but they don't get the opportunity. But the point is, is that the wisdom of this world, it goes against the Lord. And this is the reason why there is no peace. There's it's really no true peace. Why you think even the celebrities of our people, they end up speaking out. Now, some get put to death, some get blackballed, but it's their conscious eating them inside. So, yeah, you, they all Esau can do. He could dangle, you know, his substances in your face and say, do you want this? Then you got to do this to get this. Ain't you tired of being poor? And, you know, whatever he says. And then you you be like, yeah, I am. And then, all right, well, how bad you want it? That's the only thing that Esau Edom can give you is material things. He don't give you anything that satisfies your soul. And then he's such the devil, no matter how much you do for him, he always need more. You sacrifice your family. And I'm talking about literal sacrifice. Unaliving them. You know, to get up in that higher tax bracket. And then he'll turn around and need something else for you to do. So it's not like a one time thing. And this is just a various topics. This is the stuff that usually when I do a video, whatever's in my mind, okay? <laughs> but I, I think I think about all of this. I just be like, man, y'all, y'all really just don't know. That's not what I wanted. Uh. So for what a man, for what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give his exchange for his soul? And, you know, this scripture is very, very important because if you would have the opportunity to come across some money, but you had to do something that go against the Lord, this scripture should always pop in your mind. Because. You're gaining everything that you wanted to gain. But if you had understanding, 
this world is about to pass away. And all you doing is, is tallying up. All right. The Lord is just marking you down for all the iniquities you have done. And, and now you have a, um, a running tab all the way until the Lord destroy you. Why you think that people don't live forever? Because of sin. Even the wicked, the elites, the ones that we don't see, what, what just happened this year? Jacob Rothschild up died. You know, he had all the money, all the resources, and he still can't even prevent from dying. So you look into the world and if you really like, but here's the thing. Sometimes I don't even like doing videos like this because I'm speaking from a person who the Lord blessed to open his eyes like the rest of the brothers and sisters who believe. So I'm speaking from that perspective. The people in the world, their eyes is not open. So whatever that they see in this world that they want, that's all they could think about. They, 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 they can't see a far off. All right. They're nearsighted. They stay. They want this. They want this. So. Now, in fact, let me see if I can find it. I know it's in Peter somewhere. See afar off. Let me see. See, but he that lack of these things, and let's talk about faith, understanding, wisdom, knowledge, and cannot see afar off, and have not forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. So, this is talking about the ones who repent and then fall back into their vomit. But you can also use it just for regular people in the world when it comes to the point of they can't see afar off. Now, of course, back in Peter's time, this was a far off. Now we very close. Our salvation is nearer than what we believe. So our people can't even see uh, in the in the very near future. They only can see this. That's why their conversation is in the world. That's why Yahweh Shah said through Apostle Peter, because remember, Yahweh Shah is the word. The word became flesh and dwelt among us. But lo, I come in the volume of the book is written of me, Psalms 40 and 7. So he said that what manner of man you ought to be in all holy conversation and godliness. And the opposite of that is that people want to do what they want to do and Basically, the scripture said, follow not the multitude to do evil. And that's what people do. When you don't have the eyes to see, people just follow what everybody else do. They look at what's prosperous and then they be like, oh, I'm going to do that then. Not understanding that all you're doing is making yourself in, in bad standing with the Lord. And Lord willing, like I said, this is um edifying. I'm just, hey, I'm just speaking my mind, but using scriptures. But it says, let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seem to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. Because the wisdom of this world is getting money and doing whatever it takes to get money. That's why you had 50 Cent when he came out with his first um, CD in 2003, um, Get Rich or Die Trying. So basically, when you when you nitpick that statement, he's saying do whatever it takes, even if it's worth your life to get rich. So that's the wisdom of this world. And that's what we've been taught coming out the womb. Also, the wisdom of this world um, following after the customs of this world. But I want to get a scripture to actually back up that claim. So for the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the most high for it is written. He have taken the wise and their own craftiness because what end up happening? You end up meeting the grave. You end up, as the scripture says, um, in second Corinthians five and 10, that we all must come to the judgment seat. Also, every ruler had a time period. They got balance that they cannot pass. So the Lord, he will set you up for his for his purpose. That's how he take the wise and their own craftiness. You're not even understanding that you are in power for the Lord's purpose. 
you, everybody's going to feel, fulfill the word of the Lord, a.k.a. prophecy. Esau Edom, he's definitely fallen into the Lord's hands because he don't even understand that all the things that he's doing, he's setting a trap for his own self. He trying to set a trap for everybody else, but he's going to fall into that trap. That's in the scriptures. So the Lord put this, gave the spirit to these devils to make a nuclear missile, and that's going to be his downfall. He used the nuclear missile to scare all these nations into subjection, and they're going to turn around and use it on him. <laughs> so, you know, he 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 imagined to enslave every man, woman, and child, but that's what's about to happen to him. So, the wisdom of this world, all it do is just give you and get you in bad standing with the Lord. And since the Lord is long suffering and he don't judge you as soon as you do something and you probably been doing stuff for years and you haven't been judged yet. So you think that you get away. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. That's the stumbling block. And it's hard to tell people what I'm saying. If something haven't happened to them, if I'm talk, if I'm on the highways and byways and say, I don't know, cause I'm not the Lord. I can't look into a man's spirit and tell him what he done his whole life. But let's say if I'm talking to somebody while I'm preaching and this dude is really, really wicked. So, but the, but the Lord got the spirit on me to tell this man about the judgment that's about to come to pass upon the wicked. He listening, but he ain't listening. It's going in one ear and out the other because he know the wickedness that he have been doing, but he haven't been judged yet. So he like, whatever, nigga, I'm a, whatever. I hear you. Yeah, whatever. You know? So. It's hard to, and, and that's the Lord's purpose because everybody ain't meant to get this truth anyway, but we still have to tell you for you. Uh, so that's why the world is without excuse because the men is out there, but we have to tell you. And if you don't hearken, then guess what? The Lord's going to bring it back to your memory. The day that you heard the message, the day that you heard to repent, if you were Israelite. Okay. So. I think it's 10 and 30. Yep. The righteous shall never be removed, but the wicked shall not inhabit the earth. So that's, that's the, um, that's the conclusion. So the wisdom of this world is wickedness and it goes against the Lord. So that means that you're not going to inhabit the earth, which means that you're not going to have rulership no more. And then as I say, Obadiah 18, you're going to be cut off forever. It also say that in Obadiah 1 and 10. You're going to be cut off forever because of the violence against your brother Jacob. That's the Israelites. For that alone, you're going to be cut off forever. Then Habakkuk 2 and 8 said, since you have spoiled many nations, the remnant of the nations to spoil you. So they're going to get their payback before you go into captivity in the kingdom. So, and then as the scripture says in uh, Proverbs 16 and 5, matter of fact, let's get that. No hand join the hand. It said, everyone that is proud in heart is abomination to Yahweh. Though hand join in hand, you should not go and punish. So that means if you want to join the wicked and do their wicked ways, you're going to get the punishment as the wicked. The difference between that, if you were Israelite though, you're going to have a chance to come back in the kingdom as a newborn baby and grow up in the kingdom. But the Lord is going to make you perfect. So you ain't going to never have to worry about, you know, going into captivity and displeasing the Lord. But. On this side, you're going to get judged with the wicked. Y'all going to be holding hands, weeping and gnashing the teeth in the fire. When those missiles go over the horizon, my sword shall be bathed in heaven. As I say in um, Isaiah 34 and 5, coming upon the curse, Adumia, the people of my curse, Adumia, which is a Latin way of saying um, um, Edom. You're going to be right there with them. So let's go into, you know, a quick example of the wisdom of this world. It said, Where, wherefore, if you be dead with Hamashiach from the rudiments of this world. So that's what it means when when you go to Colossians 3 and 3, it said that for our life is hid in Yahweh Shai. We are dead in Yahweh Shai. It's talking about our life. 
what's the best way to explain it? I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to get real philosophical. All right. Now forget that. I'm not even a philosophical person. I got to be straightforward, but that's not, that's not my skill. But basically when you, when your life is, when your life is hid in your house shy, that means that you're doing what he say. That means that you sacrifice this life. All right. You, you're not keeping the customs of the world no more. And to be honest, when you do keep the ways of the Lord, is we really living? We're living, we're trying to be righteous in a wicked world. It's really, there is no place for us here. That's what it means that your life is dead in your house shy. Your life is hid with your house shy. There's no place for, the scripture says that uh, if you were of the world, the world would love its own. But since I have chose you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. So it's no place for us here. When you're trying to do righteousness in a wicked world, you know, everybody look down upon you. Nobody want to be around you. You're really by yourself. And it's okay because we have a favorable judgment coming. So why as though living in the world, are you subject to this ordinance? So apostle Paul is saying like, if you're supposed to be, you know, dead with Yahweh Shah, why are these customs and practices having rule over you? Why are you still keeping them? Hmm? Touch not, taste not, handle not. You're supposed to be holy. Holy means to be separated. Which all are to perish with the using after the commandments of the doctrine of men, which things have indeed a show of wisdom in will worship in humility and neglecting of the body, not in honor to the satisfying of the flesh, which means mortify your members. That's a uh, Colossians three and five. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. It said mortify, which means to kill, destroy. Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. And concupiscence is um, lust. And I think it's sexual lust, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, strong sexual desire. Because one thing about this world it's a lot of women who walk around here half naked and you a man, you know, you shit. Hey, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, but you got to keep that intact. You got to keep that intact. That's why the Lord said, love not the world, neither the things in the world for the love of the world is the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh and the pride of life. And it's not of the father. First John two fifteen and 16. So, um, so we have the real knowledge. It said, now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit, which is of the most high, that we might know the things that are freely given unto us of the most high. That's the spirit of truth. OK, the spirit of truth. The world have not received the spirit of truth. So they do contrary to the Lord, which means they're going to get judged. OK. It said, and I will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. That's the Holy Spirit, which is the understanding of these scriptures and the eyes to see the ears to hear. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it see of him not neither know of him. But ye know him for he dwelleth in you and he shall be in you. Remember, the scripture said that we are the temple of the Lord. He dwelleth in us. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. So, and he did. That's why we able to understand his truth. That's why we prophesy. And that's why these prophecies come to pass. He said, I should destroy you with the uh, spirit of my mouth. That's the prophets and destroy you with the brightness of my coming. That's when he come. All right. So it's us waking up, preaching prophecies coming to pass. Then, he, then the famine of the word come. And then from the famine of the word come, the Lord is on his way back. Mark of the beast going to be here. Famine, Jacob's trouble, all of that. And then the Lord on his way back. So to end it on this, so the wisdom of this world is nothing but death. The desire of the righteous is only good, but the expectation of the wicked is wrath. So we have an expectation is only good. Shalom.